Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcasts.com. If it's tech, it's here. Can't afford a $500 iPad? Me neither. I'll show you how to get into the tablet craze for way less. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 15 of Tech Shop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. Last month, right before getting ready to film episode 14, I sent out a message on Facebook asking for show ideas. I got this message from William G. on Facebook. Android. So then I was all like, anything in particular you want to see about Android? And he was all like, how about something on community support for forgotten tablets like my ViewSonic G tablet? DRH over on Slate Droid has ported a very good working rendition of Ice Cream Sandwich to it. Those guys need some serious backing. So then I got to thinking about low-cost Android tablets on the market and looking for ones that are fairly easy to root and put custom firmware on. I mean, if you can buy a tablet for less than $200 and root it so it has most of the features of an iPad competitor like the Motorola Zoom, for instance, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? So although I may not touch on William's G tablet, I will give you three low-cost Android alternatives that have community support with custom ROMs. First, I will show you probably the number one selling low-end Android tablet. It's called the Kindle Fire from Amazon. Now, I wouldn't put this little sucker in the same class as the iPad, but that's mainly because of its size. Since it's designed to be an e-reader, first and foremost, it only has a 7-inch display. Amazon ships the Kindle Fire with a custom Android OS and a very limited selection of applications. That being said, the steps to root Amazon Kindle and get the full Android market running is fairly simple. Plus, there are a slew of custom ROMs for it. Check out this YouTube video showcasing a CM9 ICS ROM for the Kindle. Hi old folks, this is Max from uh, RootKindleFire.com. So somebody on YouTube told me that um, there is an updated version with sound and video working. Um, so I believe I have that version. This is actually CM9 ported to the Kindle Fire. So I've got that, and also um, you can take advantage of the DSP manager, so I've got the boost enabled, um, this is like really cool if you have headphones. Netflix, Netflix um, you can hear the sound, but it's not, um, the video doesn't work, so that's the only thing, that's only my complaint, otherwise this is a um, completely usable ROM, as you can see. There's no video good, so it's still a little bit a little bit iffy. Not too bad I guess. Seems a little bit jittery for me. Um, but other than that, it's almost there. I wouldn't say it's there just because you know Netflix is not working fully. Um, but other than that you can check check it out. It's it's a um, fully usable ROM. CM9, this is the alpha version beta version. Um, it's not meant, meant for daily use, but for those of you who must have ICS now. You can purchase a Kindle Fire for only $199 plus shipping and handling from Amazon.com. Next up on the list is the Kobe Kairos Mid-1024 10.1 inch tablet. But first... SPONSOR! With colleagues working from home or traveling for business, getting everyone together for a meeting can be an impossible task. I have the solution. Go to meeting with HD faces. Your team can meet face-to-face -face while online, no matter where they are. It takes only seconds. So easy. GoToMeeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans online. And with HD Faces, you just need a webcam to turn your online meetings into a group HD video conference. Now you can even participate on the go using your built-in camera on your iPad. Just download the free GoToMeeting app to join. If you're in a meeting and you just have a bunch of people calling in on a conference line, you don't get the, their facial expressions, you don't get their body language. In fact, most of the time, when I call in on a meeting, I tune out. Uh, and so I'm sure that 90% of the people calling into your meeting just using a, a phone conference are tuning out too. They're not paying attention. But with HD Faces and GoToMeeting, uh, you get to see their facial expressions, they have their body language, and it's like they're in the room with you. All of that enhances communication. I love GoToMeeting. I've used other conference software before, WebEx, Microsoft Live Meeting, nothing compares. In fact, every time I have to deal with a salesperson, uh, being you know the IT guy, 
everyone wants GoToMeeting because it's just so easy to use. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. My listeners can try it free today for 30 days. Don't wait for the special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Or better yet, use the link below in the show notes. Be sure to use the promo code PODCAST. Next up, we're talking about the Kobe Kairos Mid-1024. This inexpensive wonder is designed as a lower-end e-reader as well, but it is roughly the size of the higher-end tablet like the iPad. It has a 1 GHz Cortex A8 processor and 512 megabytes of RAM. It has 4 gigs of internal memory and has a micro SDHC expansion slot. If you want a custom full-featured ROM, you might want to check out the Ginger LF ROM built on Gingerbread. If you want this particular tablet, make sure you have the mid-1024 N board before trying to hack it as that's the only board that's supported by the custom ROM. You can pick up a Kobe Mid-1024 for a cool $215. Finally, time to look at the least expensive tablet I found in the 10-inch size. It's the Arnova 10 G2. I found mine on Tiger Direct for only $179, brand spanking new. Out of the box, it had many regular features of Android, just without the Android market. I went ahead and installed the custom Casti V2 ROM which is formatted using the ext4 Linux file system for improved performance and boot time. I was also able to install the Android Market on the device without issue, but a lot of apps wouldn't download until I installed the Market Enabler app, which tricks the Android Market into thinking the tablet is a different device. If you don't want to go with a custom ROM on the Arnova 10 G2, you don't have to. They have a tutorial to show you how to just get the Android Market on the G2 in under 10 minutes. That concludes this episode of Tech Chop. Do you have a modded Android tablet? What version do you have? What custom firmware are you using? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, as usual, shoot me an email at info at techshop.com or sound off in the comments as well. Don't forget to check out some of our sister shows on the Tech Podcast Network and also be sure to like, fave, and subscribe. We'll catch you next time for your prescribed dose of Tech Chop. I mean, if you can buy a tablet for less than 200 uh, So although I may not touch on William G's tablet... Uh, ah. So although I may not touch on William's G tablet... Free low-cost Android... Can a brother get some subscribers up in here?